in the lead up to this trip we're doing today, driving around the valley in the Salt Lake City suburbs. Definitely been admiring Mount Olympus a little bit more, knowing that tomorrow night we'll hopefully be on Mount Raymond, looking down on Mount Olympus from the other side. Getting to see the side profile of the Wasatch Mountains here is definitely one of my favorite parts about driving around in the valley here. But obviously, even better to get up in there. Today is June 19th, 2018, so just a couple days before summer solstice. So lots of extra daylight, which is a treat as we start in Mill Creek Canyon, eventually getting us to Baker Springs. After passing the junction for Desolation Trail, we're finally coming up on what's known as Border Fork Pass and another junction, an optional side route up to the high point there towards the sun. Yay! Getting onto the Big Cottonwood Canyon side with, isn't that called Sundial Peak? Behind Lake Blanche over there. And there's Mount Raymond. We're getting to see Mount Raymond from all angles on this circumnavigation. Good stuff, huh? Yep. We passed the junction with the Milby North Trail. Now we're enjoying what for me is somewhat familiar trail from a trip I did a couple years back when I climbed up from Milby North to Baker Springs Pass and camped it where we're trying to get to tonight, Baker Springs Campground. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite stretches of the trail, especially this time of day. It's one of the longest days of the year, but still the light has its limits here. Panning across Big Cottonwood Canyon now. You can see off in the distance, Mount Clayton, Sunset Peak. Silver Fork Canyon, Days Fork Canyon, panning around here in the fading light. Lovely time to be out here. What do you think about that? Beautiful. We're going to see Park City, the Brighton, you can see Solitude, it's just amazing. You can see Gobbler's Knob now too. That tallest mound over there. Yeah. The high point between Mill Creek Canyon and Big Cottonwood, Big Cottonwood Canyon. Canyon, rather. There's 9990, Murdoch, what's what? I'm, I'm dying to know. It's time to pull up View Ranger. Time to view, view Ranger. <laughs> Today's June 20th, 2018. We ended up having to start from Porter Fork Road instead of the higher trailhead that we had planned on. It's a trail that I got to explore last winter with Roy on a day hike with his dog. It definitely added a fair bit of elevation. We ended up covering some 3,400 feet 
as we made it up and over Porter Fork Pass and then Baker Springs Pass between Mount Raymond and Gobbler's Knob last night. It took us maybe five hours to do the six miles to where we are now here near Baker Springs. So the map that I have calls this the Porter Fork Bowman Fork loop. Overall it's about a 10 mile loop and that doesn't include any side trips. And we're still deciding what we want to do today, whether it be summiting Mount Raymond or maybe just heading down the Bowman Fork. So we'll see how we're feeling and take it from there today. Got quite a bit of Indian paintbrush along this section, huh? And a few other wildflowers as well along the Bowman Fork Trail on the way to Baker Pass, just above Baker Springs. Stay on that side of it, the right side of it, I'd be okay, but like... It looks... I mean, the, so there's a lot of footholds on the left there, huh? That's kind of where the trail goes, yeah. It's just the left side that makes me really nervous. And coming down, oh my god, I'm gonna die. So, I don't know what's worse now, Olympus or this? Shit. Really? Really? Uh, have you been up Olympus? I haven't been to the very top, no. Yeah, the... the top of a, the top though it's like you get to the you know that base which is really pretty it's bouldering I yeah. heard yeah it's basically are you coming back down yeah unless you're up to continue okay I'm gonna I, 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 I don't know I, I don't got people to watch so. I don't think so that's okay I'll, I'll, I'm coming back okay I'm gonna watch how you it's my friends that were talking about coming up here they have a Oh, yeah? three-year-old that they were going to bring, and I'm like, oh, well, it's, it's okay. So I just sent him a picture. I was like, you do have to boulder up this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. Okay. Off of either side. Is this the uh, the most steep part? Or, um, or is there more like this? Uh, I can't remember. I, I, oh. I, if you wait for the guy, he could maybe tell you. That's all right. I just yeah. want to go make an investment for the good of the <laughs> for the good of people and just take take a rope up. <laughs> put a rope here because if you have like just that's that, true yeah like just do that tie it in and yeah when in feel... doubt you know i always go backwards oh my god i'm well, sorry i can't watch i'm that. so <laughs> sketch about i'm not that's high okay. that's okay like i i can't do ferris wheels dude i'm like well he wouldn't slide all the way down would he i don't know i don't <laughs> even want to even know <laughs> i can do anything but height if i was on skis i'd be happy after doing Angel's Landing, this just isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Angel's Landing, you at least got a chain. That's true, that's <laughs> true, yeah. Yeah, you have, you have something a little to hang on to. We fell a little short of Mount Raymond, stopped at about 300 feet from the peak and decided we had had enough and we're ready for lunch and to get back in a timely manner. on the downhill slide on the Bowman Fork Trail. What's a good way to start the hiking season then? Yeah. Start it off with a bang, 10 mile loop in 24 hours. Clearness, so. 
We made it back to the Porter Fork Road trailhead and I'd say that was a pretty well executed 24 hour adventure. What would you say, Christy? It was definitely a well executed adventure. We had enough food for our luxury 24 hour vacation. It was great. Um, a little strenuous, but it was worth it. And it was nice to see all aspects of the wilderness up there and to see on the backside of Olympus and the front sides and back sides of Raymond and then Gobbler's Knob. We just saw so many, so many things and it was fantastic. Yeah, I think I brought enough food for a couple few days. And yeah, it was a real treat getting to see Mount Raymond from every angle, <laughs> for sure. So knowing what you know now, was there anything you would have done differently as far as like what to pack for an overnight trip? Um, I think it was a little chillier than I expected. I did bring layers, so that was good. I would consider um, bringing more layers than I, than I did for next time, but that's about it. Other than that, we had the great um, spring there, so we didn't need to pack a ton of water, which was huge benefit. Yeah, that was great. But other than that, I think it was pretty straightforward, awesome hike. Again, that going up, the, the ascent was very strenuous, a lot of elevation gain. Yeah, something like 3,400 feet, I think, the first day. A lot of climbing, but no, maybe lighter footwear, I don't know, make sure your footwear is light. Yeah. And um, you're picking up your feet a lot going uphill. Then what would you recommend for people who are considering a backpacking trip but haven't tried it yet? Be in shape. <laughs> Do your squats and your deadlifts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, um, no good, good advice. I, I think uh, lifting weights and being in good shape, both strength-wise uh, for carrying the pack and, and these steep ascents, and you know cardiovascular health as well just being in, in decent shape i think is super important for your enjoyment um I think if you anybody could really do it but if you're gonna enjoy it you should probably be in decent shape yeah you're definitely in good shape you were going faster than i was i think on most of the uphills and the downhills from what i remember so yeah glad you could join me hope we can do it again sometime <laughs> that's all for now see you next time On the next Backpacker Diaries. So now I've got a bull elk headed this way. One thing that's safe to say about the Fish Lake National Forest, the wildlife is never far away. <laughs>